All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another video today. My name is Chris, and today we do have some news to go over. That's right, it was just announced yesterday that Rue 21 would be filing for their third bankruptcy. Uh, clothing retailer Rue 21 filed for bankruptcy for the third time with plans to close its doors and sell its brand. The Warrendale, Pennsylvania-based retailer, backed by financial firms Blue Torch Capital and Nut Tree Capital Management, sought protection from creditors in Thursday in the United States Bankruptcy Court of Bloomington, Delaware. Blue Torch owns about 79% of the company, with Nut Tree owning about 21%, because you put 79 and 21 together, you get 100%. Rue 21 adds a list of merchants, which, uh, okay, the, 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 uh, and then, yeah. Rue 21, which caters to an assortment of young adults, said in its filing it has been losing money because of the growth of online shopping and the industry competition, inflation, and other factors. The retailer has, has more than 540 stores in 45 states, as well as a distribution center in Warrington, West Virginia, and has roughly 4,900 employees. Rue 21 said it is looking for potential buyers to keep the business going while seeking bids from consultants that it could handle the potential sale of invest of inventories and the closure of all locations, which AKA at that point means either SP360 Capital Partners LLC or Hillco Fixed Asset, or sorry, Hillco Global or Hillco Fixed Asset Recovery. Um, Interim Chief Executive Officer Michelle Pascone has sworn in. Route 21 said it plans to hold a going concern sale of intangible assets that includes intellectual property. So, not surprising. Um, I haven't seen a Route 21 store in a very long time, and I'm not a Route 21 shopper myself, um, but it doesn't come as a surprise. They weren't really a recognizable retailer, and honestly, I haven't seen any of their locations, at least in my immediate area. So, them filing, I mean, when, you know, it's as they say in baseball, you know, three strikes are out, and Route 21 has seemed to take that route. I mean, a third time when you file bankruptcy, you're going to just go right into Chapter 7. You're going to go into a full-scale liquidation. I don't see... And honestly, I'm just saying it from all the other bankruptcies I've seen in the past a couple of years. Uh, there will be no buyer for this brand whatsoever. Um, I can see already that they have they have taken down the website. Um, so I don't personally think that there will be a buyer. I mean, filing for bankruptcy three times means that clearly you did something wrong. Um, once, you know, okay, maybe it was a maybe there was some sort of uh, issue with the with the current state of the economy and you know there were issues that are outside of your control you know you can you can recover from that um the second time eh, it starts to get a little bit risky the third time yeah there there's there will be no buyer that approaches this company i mean this this company is is basically done um and i apologize for not making a video yesterday about this but uh life does happen so i'm making the video now and we're talking about this this retailer um I don't think I have any any ones in my immediate area. I don't plan on visiting one. Just not not my type of place to go and and film a liquidating type of store. They didn't really have any like Rite Aid is different because that had though that that building had like special elements. These are like inside of malls. It's just it doesn't seem practical for me to film a liquidating like interior store unless it had like a special unique outside element that could be worth filming. Um, but yeah, so Rue Twenty One completely shutting down. Um, and I and I wouldn't be surprised if there is a statement from PR from like Hillco or SB360 that they're going to be the ones responsible for the liquidation uh, of this retail. There will be no buyer for this brand. I mean, you don't just file for bankruptcy three times and and expect some some sort of comeback. Um, I just don't think that that's in the cards for this retailer, unfortunately. So. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Link to this article as well as the Rue 21 website for you guys to see will be located in the video description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and that will be it.